Hunter Biden still holds major stake in Chinese corporation. Oh, oh, if I had the webcam on, you'd see my shock face. My face, my hands would be up to my mouth. Went, I'm calling this video. Hunter Biden still holds <coughs> millions in Chinese corporate assets. I don't know if it's how, how millions he it is, but it's a. Uh, it's, it's got to be close to it. If it's not, I'm pretty sure it's millions, though. He looks like a very serious young man there. Well, I guess an oh, older man. He looks about my age, actually. I'm 52, so he looks about my age. Hunter Biden, China, big tech protection to lane. Hunter Biden gets big tech protection and Chinese wealth. And there's some other things interesting going on. This is a man that we know is uh, outside of the Me Too world. He is He's, he's violated women. You know, he's paid for, uh, not not that he's broken the law, or I'm not accusing him, or anything outside of uh, using prostitutes in derelict positions, using his significant power advantage, his white man privilege, if you will, which I, I, that's a pejorative in and of itself, but uh, he, he is, is from that power base. He uses that power. Him and his whole family are now fully in bed with this, critical race theory ideology that has given the DNC such tremendous power in the land today. So you're not going to be held accountable, not not by their own. Hunter Biden, China Big Tech Protection to Lane, and this is a headline from Daily Caller. 100 days into Biden presidency, Hunter still owns stake in Chinese private equity firm. This is for the Daily Call, Caller. Andrew Kerr, an excerpt. Hunter Biden continues to hold a minority stake in a Chinese private equity firm 100 days into President Joe Biden's term. Business records show Hunter Biden holds a 10% equity stake. That's a significant amount of, of equity in, in what seems like a, a large company. And BHI partners through his company. Scantalese LLC, according to Quinks, Bao, and Baidu, two independent services that provide business records on Chinese corporations based on China's national credit information public system. Joe Biden promised in October 2019 that if elected president, nobody in his family would have any business relationship with any foreign corporation or country. No one in my family will have an office in the White House. We'll sit in on meetings as if they are a cabinet member will, in fact, have any business relations with anyone that relates to a foreign corporation or a foreign country. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Period. Period. End of story. Because his word is his bond. Uh, known plagiarist, by the way, Joe Biden. He uh, was it 1988. He got shot out of uh, the presidential election cycle because of the uh, plagiarism exposure. Let, let's just uh, let's just check this out here. Let's go with uh, Joe. Come on, Joe Biden, plagiarism. Let's see, Joe Biden, there you go, 1990, there you go, that's what it was. So, Joe Biden's first presidential run in 1998 created amid multiple instances of plagiarism. Plagiarism. Yeah, that's, that's that, his word is his bond, and he's still plagiarizing even to this day. Not not that any other politicians aren't also guilty, but it doesn't matter. He's your politician now. He's the one that has the hand of power, and uh, he's the one who says, my word is my bond. No, 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 no politician's word is his bond, I can tell you that. Uh, the only politician whose word is bond is a weak politician who has no power in any party. If they have any power in any party, trust me, their word is not their bond. They couldn't be a major power in any sense of the term in the political world without lying, cheating, and stealing. You don't get to the top of a coercive enterprise by being a good guy, by being a consensual type of human being. The best of the best killers and liars and thieves, these are the ones that rise to the top in these types of systems, type of system we have today, which is only going to get worse because now this is a system that has rejected, just outright openly rejected the notion of, of human beings made in the image of God. So now if human beings are not made in the image of God because critical race theory ideology that the DNC has fully embraced is, is, a, is, is fundamentally, it's based upon an assumption that we are not made by our ideas, but the world makes us. And all you have to do is change the frame of the world and you can make people in an MEM, any image you want. That's what's behind the critical race theory fundamental assumption. And when the state 
begins to look at you as as something which can be changed to fit its will well that's when people die that's when people get arrested and that's what's happening around the world it's happening far worse still than it's happening in america but compared to what we were used to it's 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 far worse than it was so this is from legal insurrection cornell student okay so this is Okay, so this is a topic report. So what? Oh, yeah, here we go. Cornell student suspended from Twitter for sharing unflattering photo of Hunter Biden. Legal insurrection. So you see, this is the Corpo State media. They're the Corpo State uh, nationalist. And they use their powers. They're, 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 they're basically their authoritarian market powers, what they have. They're, it's not free market. Authoritarian market powers to protect their interest. And they're certainly interested in protecting the Biden family because... Right now, Joe Biden is the face of the DNC, even though that face happens to be somewhat incoherent at the very least. And then from Chicago Tribune, look on the bright side, GOP. Maybe the raid on Rudy Giuliani will turn up dirt on Hunter Biden. A fair chance, because they wouldn't take the laptops that Giuliani for, for, for them to take. Giuliani opens up about federal raid and Hunter Biden's laptop. Rudy Giuliani claimed the federal raid on his New York City home has nothing to do with claims he pressured Ukrainian officials on former President Trump's behalf. Giuliani told Tucker Carlson that he offered the FBI agents the hard drive from Hunter Biden's laptop, which the agents refused. So, yeah, this headline above here, Chicago Tribune, probably not so much. And then we got Newsweek. Donald Trump Jr. says Chinese investment in Hunter Biden will affect Joe Biden's China policies. Yeah, that's another person. The Trumps. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't want a royal family, even if it's a resist royal family. Please, please no. Watch U.S. Senator John Kennedy criticize Hunter Biden's guest speaker role at Tulane. So you're going to have Hunter Biden speaking at a panel to discuss fake news. This is a man who has de- who has uh, benefited from the corpo state nationalists blocking true stories about him. And calling it fake news. As a matter of fact, if they had allowed these stories of Hunter Biden to go before the election, even though, you know, it's a mass mail or election, I doubt even they would have been able to pull off a mass mail or election if this news had reached the general public that they hit. The news about Hunter Biden with his little laptop and what he had on the laptop and the the, the, the known Chinese state ties and whatnot. I think I'll end it there. There's more headlines there, but you know, or one more. Or I'll just read it. Editor Daily Rundown. Hunter Biden still owns stake in Chinese private equity firm from Daily Caller. There you go.